How are you going? Bit of a rough uh, summer on the old forecasting, eh? One minute it's going to be dry and then it gets suddenly wet. Not good, is it? Not good at all. It's interesting, actually, because the last time I was in this room, we finished at 11 o'clock on the Thursday night, and the forecast was actually going to be uh, clear conditions in Brisbane. Woke up about six hours later, and my wife texted me to say that they'd had 100 mils in Brisbane overnight. It wasn't part of the forecast. Have you got anything to say about the poor forecasting, short-term weather forecasting, especially in Queensland, in regards to people on the Gold Coast over Christmas and then Cairns just prior to Christmas? Uh I appreciate the, uh, actually appreciate the opportunity, Senator, to get on the record a few facts because um, I think the performance of our folks was fantastic uh, during those two events. And, and with the Chair's indulgence, uh, obviously all of those events impacted very large numbers of the community. And I just wanted to put on the record that uh, the thoughts of all colleagues at the Bureau with those communities that are impacted by those severe weather events, and many of those communities are still recovering from them. And I'd also like to place on the record just uh, how proud I am of our people who I thought did a superb job uh, over the summer. Summer still going, finishes yep. at the end of this month. Um, but just to again put on the record some facts, so uh, maybe we could start with uh, Tropical Cyclone Jasper. Uh, we yep. first, which is the, uh, the uh, storm that uh, impacted the wet tropics. Senator, we first warned the community um, eight days ahead of the crossing of the likelihood of a tropical cyclone, which again I think is extraordinary warning, advance warning. First warned of heavy rains and floods six days in advance. And we first warned of heavy to intense rain leading to life-threatening flash flooding four days in advance. So I, I, I think that is an absolutely extraordinary effort from our people in terms of providing the community with that level of advance warning. The coastal crossing was very, very close to where we said it would be. Uh, at a strength we said it would be. And so I think the performance of our people to give the community that, that, uh, that level of advance warning just wouldn't have been possible in years gone by. Um, we forecast coast? rainfall totals, daily rainfall totals of four to 500 millimetres of rain. That's what happened. Uh, we issued 26 cyclone warnings, okay. 29 severe weather warnings, 14 flood watches, <laughs> right. 121 okay. flood warnings. Yeah, okay, thank you. No, I no, mean, I'm no, answering no, your question. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I've got no. short time because the bell's well, going to ring. So, so, you've, so you've cast dispersions on the quality of the Bureau's forecast. Okay, well, this is an opportunity for the Bureau to get on the record some okay, facts. Okay, great. I appreciate that, but the, uh, short time. We so issued 30 social rings. Senator 30, 30, you, yeah, 30 you, social media posts on our website, 117 severe weather briefings to emergency management partners, 75 verbal advices over the phone to emergency management partners. So there was an enormous amount of warning. With the storms on the Gold Coast in Brisbane on the 25th and 26th of December, we first warned the likelihood of severe thunderstorms on the 22nd of December, three days in advance. Damaging winds, large hail, intense rainfall, life-threatening flash flooding. Okay, thank That's you. exactly That's what happened. We thank issued you. severe That's thunderstorm efficient. warnings okay. four hours in advance, and in the severe thunderstorm that hit the Gold Coast, we gave an hour and a half's notice. Okay, so, so I'll, I'll, I'll take my next question I now. I think the performance okay, of our it's, team it's, was extraordinary, uh, and the quality uh, of the Mr. forecast Johnson, was excellent. Estimates is an opportunity for senators to ask the question. When I say I've got the answer I need, I'll let you know and I'll go to the next question. You also forecast a very dry summer that led to farmers to sell cattle when they didn't need to and they had to sell those cattle at a loss. Now they've got to go back and restock on the basis of your forecasts. And I've seen those forecasts. You forecast below average rainfall for Queensland. Well, Senator, okay. again, I, I so I really welcome... yet again, I, I don't, that's a, that's a no, comment I, 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 because I want to get back to these questions. Chair. Okay, Chair. so Chair. independent. Chair. Just one moment. Can I... Chair. Yes, Minister. Um, when senators put a set of assertions on the record that go to the performance of the agency, I think it is reasonable to allow the officials to respond. I did, Minister. To... Well, you've now placed a set of a second set of assertions about the agency. It's not an assertion; on it's a fact. Record. Well, the, yeah. okay. The we're actually not going to have respond. an argument about this, Senator Rennick. It is your right to put questions. Thank it you, is Chair. their right to answer. However, I will ask that you try. To um, I, I, I manage, no, 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 just, just, just hear me out. Just hear me yeah. out. I will ask that you 
respect the fact that if you've placed an assertion or an accusation or anything upon the record, then they do have a right to respond. And I did but let I him will respond. say to you, Dr Johnson, respond in a tight fashion I'll, because I'll, we're a bit I'll time endeavor. poor. Thank you, Thank Chair, you. for your, yes. for your Thank indulgence. You, this is an important point because, again, there's been widespread, widespread reporting about what the Bureau allegedly said. I'd like to put on the record, if I can, what we did say. Uh, so let's just be clear. On the 24th of August, our three-month seasonal forecast, we, we said there was a high likelihood of dry and warm conditions. That's exactly what we happened. We had the driest spring in Australia on record, the warmest winter and spring in Australia on record. We had fire. You're that was the we had, we, we had heat. We, it was the driest spring on record. And then, our, as we update our forecast regularly, our 19th of October forecast, our three-month seasonal forecast, which is a transition from spring to summer, we, co we forecast a switch from dry to neutral conditions with an equal chance of dry or wet conditions and rain in eastern Australia. That's what happened. And then okay, our update that, on the 23rd you. of November, our seasonal forecast, we forecast a moistening trend with neutral to positive conditions um, in December Dr. and January. Johnson, and that's, so, and that's, OK, thank you. And that's what well, happened. Senator Davey. Forecast. OK. So, Which I do want to... So, All right, and you can question that after. So, so, so they, that they are out. They, they no, are no, we're not going, up okay. the time, Chair. Can everyone stop, please? He's chewing up the time. Can everyone and he stop, knows please, got including time. you, Senator Rennick? We are not going to waste time arguing here. We have a short period of time. The senators have a right to ask questions. The witnesses have a right to answer. I will ask that we are swift in terms of the answers, particularly yeah. if a senator has, has achieved what they need. Yes, you have a right to defend against any accusations made, but can I please ask us to try and keep this calm and yeah. effective and efficient? Thank you. Okay. So, nice so just to summarise, Chair, our forecast. If you could just be really I will swift, be very quick. Dr. Johnson, because I think we've all got where you're going. Our, fo our, forecasts, our forecasts were excellent, and there are many reasons why producers choose to sell cattle coming off the back of a triple La Nina. The Eastern Cattle Live indicator dropped 60% this is not a tight answer. before okay, so we declared an El Nino. So to somehow yep, fair enough. Dr Johnson, I'll ask you to put any further information you have you. on this question on notice. Happy to do so. Senator Rennick. Okay, thank you, Chair. Authorised G Rennick, LMP Chermside.